Hey, David King at davidleeking.com here. Today I'm talking about Facebook pages. I'm making the screencast for the third annual Big Wig Social Software Showcase that's going to be held at American Library Association's annual conference this next week, Monday, uh, July 13th, 10.30 a.m. So what you can do, watch this now, comment in my blog post or whatever, but also if you're going to ALA next week, come visit me Monday, July 13th at 10.30 a.m., sit at my table, and we can have a conversation about Facebook pages. Let's get started. The basics of a Facebook page is first. You can do a lot of stuff here. First of all, I'll say, remember to name your Facebook page. That's an option we apparently had right now. Towards the end of either June or July, I think Facebook is opening that up to everybody else. So we've named ours Topeka Library. Two types of friends that a Facebook page can have. First is fans. That is an individual user of Facebook um, saying, I want to become a fan of your page. And then we have favorite pages. Other Facebook pages mark our Facebook page as a fan. So they're fans of the page. So you've got personal and organizational. With both, what my library is doing is trying to um, friend and follow users of our library system. So people who live in our service area and with pages, um, organizations or, or other things that live in our service area. So the city of Topeka, Kansas, this local artist, um, Northeast Kansas Library System, since we're a part of that, Topeka Performing Arts Center, businesses and organizations that are actually really connected to our library. Same with um, individual fans. These are, for the most part, all people that actually use our library. So they're Topeka residents, for the most part. Status updates are probably the coolest thing you can do with a Facebook page. Just like your personal Facebook profile, or very also very similar to Twitter, Facebook pages now have status updates. So right here, this little text box, it says text box that says what's on your mind. You type something in, press share, goes out to, in our case, 716 fans. We, we're sending out content, um, sending out information about events coming up at, at coming up at the library. Not all of them, because we have a lot of events, but we're trying to focus on events that users of our Facebook page might be interested in. Uh, so sending out event information, what's happening at the library, every once in a while maybe some fun facts, that type of thing. So that's cool because that's free advertising, but there's also a two-way component to this because people can comment on it in two ways. So in this instance, two people liked this one, and we can look at that. It shows who liked that comment. And then also you can comment on the comment. So if I click show 18 more comments, all these people said something in reaction to this status update. If you click over one to info, uh, this is just basic information of your library or, your, or whatever you want basically, but we've put our address, our phone number, hours that we're open, uh, the URL to our website, and then also we've added a few other URLs. So we've added um, pointers to our Facebook apps that we've made and also a pointer to our electronic newsletter that you can sign up for. Events is next. Um, events is pretty cool. This is Think of it as a calendar. They can register for the event if you want to set it up that way. So these people are coming to the um, Gaming for Adults event that we're holding later on this month. You've got quite a few fields that you can edit and add to. So naming the event, a tagline, et cetera. Where do you, get, where do you go to get more information? That kind of stuff. You can hold discussions within your Facebook page. And also some third-party stuff. So these boxes, um, the YouTube box, those are, that's just a basically an app that's picking up our my library's YouTube feed, so videos we've made at the library, that are stored in YouTube that are showing up in our Facebook page. Um, you can add other boxes. We also have a Flickr one that's just under 
boxes. We haven't pulled it out yet. So these are interesting photos from our, um, our Flickr account at the library. Who uses your Facebook page? An easy way to find that out once you have a Facebook page is not so much to look at who fanned your page. Click on edit page and go to your insights that all Facebook pages have. This is a very cool tool that will give you a, a few insights. Our page doesn't have a lot of statistics, but you do get some. Most important being right here because it tells you who's using your page. Look at this. Since July 2nd, we've had 707 fans. Most of them are female. There are fairly similar numbers there for um, two categories of females. So female users aged 25 to 34 and aged 35 to 44 are the most active users of my library's Facebook page. That's very useful information to know because then we can start targeting that um, sex and age group with um, some content that they would be interested in. My library has built two Facebook apps or applications. We have created a, a, lot of, a lot of libraries have done this, but we've created a catalog search that's a Facebook app. So if you go to apps.facebook.com slash search TSCPL, you can see it and play with it and um, add it to your Facebook profile or your Facebook page if you for some reason want to. But basically it's just an interface that searches my library's catalog. We're a Circe Horizon catalog right now. And this is the main page for it and shows people who have friended it because <laughs> you can friend an app, which sounds sort of funny but you can. Um, so that's one app we've made. The other app we've created is an Ask a Librarian app. Uh, we're, we are using library help for our, faith, for our um, instant messaging and chat type stuff, the Ask a Librarian chat things. And we have made a Facebook app for that. So anybody can put this on their page, on their profile page. Um, we've got it on our our Facebook page as well and other local Topeka organizations can have a librarian from Topeka living right on their Facebook page as well. Okay and now for connecting with your customers using Facebook. First of all when there's a comment um, anywhere make sure to respond. Make sure to answer the question, say thanks if nothing else or um, recognize the comment by saying, hey, thanks for your comment. Do that kind of thing. Why? Because it's, it's a real-time conversation and you should treat it as such. Discussion groups, it's a great place to start a discussion group on a topic. It's a good way to see if people are interested in your library by how many responses you're getting, assuming that you've asked a good relevant question or started a good topic. Um, it's also a good place to pull a hopefully captive audience, ask a question, maybe you'll get some good responses. And if it's active, um, especially like in the status updates or, or the discussion group, it can be a good place for an ad hoc advisory group of highly wired people. Events, great way again to connect with your Facebook users and to send them reminders about hey we've got this event coming up I think it's just down it's right down your alley. In general a Facebook page is a great way to introduce your Facebook users to your library. You can introduce them to your whole total library experience using those Facebook pages. And then just in closing remember to always connect with your patrons in real time in the library, in Facebook, and on your website. Now, the container isn't really so important, but the connections that you make with those customers are priceless.